Next. <laughs> Next is. Hi everyone, I'm Sean and this is my first ever book unhaul. So apparently these are types of videos are in high demand. I don't really know why. I guess people like seeing decluttering. But anyway, whatever your reason, here we go. My first book unhaul. We begin with Nicholas Sparks, The Best of Me. This is a book that was on my 21 books to read in 2021 list. And I had it on my shelf for like three or four or five years. My mom got it for me, I think, from a yard sale. And basically, I've come to the conclusion that I just cannot stomach any Nicholas Sparks books. For the first 25 pages or so, I'm into them and I'm reminded how, I don't know really how to say it, I just, I am really can get invested in his stories and I just know how they're going to end, but that's the problem, I know how they're going to end. After reading like three Nicholas Sparks books and liking them all, Ever since then, every Nicholas Sparks book, even though I know they're a bit different, I just can't really enjoy them after 25 or 50 pages because it's just like I've read this exact same book. I know where it's going. And yeah, so this book, I didn't actually rate it. And that's why I'm not doing a review for it. Because I don't know, it's just something about Nicholas Sparks. I just cannot read him anymore. But I still think he's a good writer because the three books I read from him first, which were The Choice, that wasn't the first book, but there was also Safe Haven. That was, I think, the first book I read by him. And also A Walk to Remember. Those are the three books I really remember reading and liking from him. I liked those pretty well. But just after that, I just can't read Nicholas Sparks. But I think kind of what may be the thing, at least for me, is it doesn't really matter which books I would have chosen. I think I would have liked them if they were the first ones I read, like A Bend in the Road. I didn't like that book. But if that was the first Nicholas Sparks book, that was the first Nicholas Sparks book that I read, I probably would have liked it. But since it was like the fifth or sixth, I just... No, I couldn't do it. So I don't really know. I can't really say they were bad books. It's just I can't read Nicholas Sparks anymore. So that's the first book. And I think I'm going to try giving this to the bookstore, trading it in. I don't know if it's like the right size. He only takes like certain size books, but it's a pretty traditional paperback size book. So I think he'll take it. It does have this used sticker on it. I don't know if that'll be an issue, but I'll try giving it to the bookstore first as a trade-in. If he doesn't take it, then take it to the thrift store. Next, I just did a review for it in my 3 by Fraser video, but it's The Pirates by George MacDonald Fraser. So if you want to see my thoughts on this book, go click over to that video. Uh, 3 by Fraser. This one I am either just throwing away or burning because I highlighted it because you'll see in the 3 by Fraser video, but yeah, basically this gets destroyed. So I'll probably burn it. So yes, I do burn books. I'm bad. Next is Anne of Green Gables by L. M. Montgomery. And this is a book I reviewed, I don't know when, I want to say my January wrap-up. But anyway, Anne of Green Gables, I liked it at first. It had a lot of potential, but it just 
went downhill and I had problems with it. So I'm kind of a little bit reluctant to let it go because, like I said, I did kind of like it. It had potential. But I'm not going to read any more in the series. So it's just taking up space. So I'm sorry, Anne, but you got to go. And I'll... I got that from, I think, the bookstore. So I think I'll just trade that back in. Another one I got from the bookstore, and probably going back there, is Angle of Repose by Wallace Stegner. And I just reviewed this in my March wrap-up. And I didn't like it, so no problem getting rid of it. So there's that. Next is A Streetcar Named Desire by Tennessee Williams. I actually kind of liked it fairly well, but there's no reason for me to keep it, so it goes back to the bookstore. Next is a book I got from Amazon because the bookstore did not have it and neither did the library, but it's Lloyd Alexander, The Book of Three, and I just gave this one a rear review? Rear review? I gave this one a review in my drunk book review video. So if you want to see that, go give it a click. But there's no reason for me to keep it. I'm not reading any more in the series. So this, since I think the size is definitely not right for the... I don't know. I don't know if the bookstore will take it. If not, it goes to the thrift store. So there's that. Next is a book I got from Target, I think, because I wanted to support a new author because this was her debut book, but it's The Readers of Broken Wheel Recommend by Katerina Bavald. And it's not signed. If it was signed, I'd keep it, but it's not, so I'm gonna... This one probably goes to the thrift store. And last on the unhaul is Ian Fleming, a collection of books. There's From Russia with Love, Casino Royale, Live and Let Die, Diamonds Are Forever, Dr. No, and Goldfinger. I just reviewed Goldfinger in, I don't know what it is, I'm guessing February wrap-up? Anyway, I have read pretty much all of the James Bond books. The only books I have not read are The Spy Who Loved Me, and I'm not going to read that because I go into it a bit in my review of Goldfinger. Um, so I'm done with the informing. So no reason to keep this book, and it's a real hefty book. So that'll save a bunch of space for me on my bookshelf. So those books are going bye-bye. And that is my first book unhaul. So do you like these videos? Would you like to see more of them? Let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!